I got about uh, 20 minutes before my hamburger bun dough is ready in the bread maker. And I figured since it's been warm yesterday and today, today definitely warmer than yesterday, but it's still been warm, I would come out and grab my soil temperature probe and check the uh, temperature of the soil and see if it's okay for morals. Morals start popping when the ground temperature, the soil temperature, gets above 50 degrees. Not air temperature, ground temperature. So basically I use a device that works in my garden. It's digital. It checks pH, soil temperature, and it says it also checks nutrients, but I'm kind of doubtful how accurate that part is. Because it always seems like the nutrients are spot on. This is what it looks like. Had one for years. And definitely good for checking soil temperature. And also checking pH. If you're checking pH. Generally. You would take and. Uh. Use a scouring pad to clean this tip, but since I'm only doing temperature, it don't matter. Really simple to use. Power it on. Right now I got it set on pH, so we'll go ahead and go down to select temperature. Now we're on temperature. So if I stick this in the ground, it's saying the air temperature right now is 75. If I stick this in the ground and flip this around where you can see it, it'll start dropping. Now I am at a place where the sun pretty much beats down all day, so I know it's probably going to be above 50. It's actually my compost pile, and it could still be reactive in some way. Now today it was probably close to 70 or 72 degrees. I think tomorrow it's supposed to be 80. I usually check in multiple areas because the farther I go down this hill, the cooler it's going to get as far as the temperature goes. How do you know when to stop staring at it? Well, I do this thing in the garden, <laughs> as crazy as it seems, where if a, more, if a full minute passes without it changing, I just call it good and go on. I usually count how many times it beeps, which is a thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. So if you count 20 of those, about a minute has passed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So what I can say is that this elevation, which you got to have an elevation map or GPS that shows elevation, at this elevation in about the same type of coverage, because uh, I'm actually in under the trees, that you probably can find morals. Now, there's going to be a point when I get down this hill a little ways, and I'll show you when I get there. So usually what I do is I kind of like just walk around and see if anything is obviously sticking up out of the ground.
in kind of this general area. I don't do like a really hard hunt for them. Because the other thing is too, I don't want to waste a lot of time looking for them if they're not up in volume. I mean, I can pick any day of the week and probably go find a moral mushroom this time of year, but if I'm only going to find one, what good did I do? If I can find 30 or 50 or 100, that's a little bit different story. All right, so I'm going to move on to another location and check the soil temperature again. And what you're going to see is the farther I go down this hill, the cooler the ground gets. And you're actually going to get to one spot where it probably is below 50 degrees. Before the cold spell came, it was just about 50 degrees. A little down a little bit farther, I think. I believe it was right in this general area. So let me put this down. Turn my screen back on. So you can see that it was saying that the temperature is 78 degrees, the air temperature. So I'm gonna stick this in the ground. And we're gonna do it again. Usually while it's doing that, I'm usually scanning the ground because you would be surprised how many times I found morals sitting close to the ground. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we're at fifty-one degrees. That tells me that you might find morals in this area. If you could find a place where the sun is soaking through the trees, you probably can find them. But I'm going to be honest with you, based on experience, I ain't even going to waste my time to look. Because for one, I kind of already scanned the ground and... If there's none up here at this edge where I know that the sun is shining, kind of see there's like a uh, tree line right here. So if you don't see any right there sticking up, the chance of them sticking up inside this area is going to be pretty slim or not at all. But if I wanted to look for morals today, I would know that from this elevation up to where I started at, would be a good area to search. So what I would do is I would make sure that I'm not walking uphill and I'd basically just walk kind of in a straight line, kind of scanning from left to right. You know, if I've found morals in this area before, I kind of have a rough idea where I found them at. Now, because I know the terrain, I know that just right up here, I start going downhill again. And I don't want to go farther downhill because the chance of me finding any morals farther downhill will be slim or not at all. And matter of fact, let me walk down there and kind of show you that I am correct on that. I'm going to wait until the elevation changes only by about maybe 20 or 30 feet and I'm going to check the soil temperature. And I know 20 or 30 feet is going to be 
pretty close to one of my hot spots. Now the bad thing about it is the southern wind comes through here and it could make the ground a little bit warmer. But I'm thinking today probably not. You can actually see the sun shining on the ground. That would be kind of cheating. So let me just sidestep a little bit. My camera screen shut off. All right. So this says the uh, air temperature is 74. I hit a rock right off the bat. So we'll see what the ground temperature is here. And I'm sure it's going to be less than 50 degrees. Nineteen twenty. All right, so really it's kind of like right on that you know, value where you might find morals, but I'm going to tell you from experience, you ain't. What I really wanted to show you was how accurate this is for moral mushroom hunting. And if I took maybe even just three or four more steps down this hill, it's going to change quite drastically. So anyways, probably got another day or two before morals start popping again. So um, that's assuming we don't get some heat wave because I have seen years where it gets so warm, so fast, so hot that the ground temperature just ramps up and then gets above the range that morals will start popping out of the ground. And, and then you don't get any morals that year. So, I'll bring you back. This is just kind of continuing my moral mushroom hunting tips and tricks. And uh, we're at 15 minutes now. I'll shorten this down by speeding up the counts. And uh, hopefully, you'll better understand how I find moral mushrooms. Thanks for watching.